Hello, 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 and welcome to the C Spot. I am Chef C. This is the C Spot, and we're cooking today. Well, we cook every day, but today we're going to cook um, pan-seared salmon. Um, we're going to do a a um, what they call um, lost my train of thought chickpea pasta rice. Don't have it, don't worry about it. Use chickpea pasta. Um, Banza is a good brand. Uh, Pal has a good brand. It's a good brand for it. Uh, Barilla has a version. You have to hunt for that version, but they do have some. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna use the chickpea rice, uh, chickpea flour rice. It's going to be, um, gonna do like a cauliflower risotto. Mm, nope, orzo. Cauliflower orzo, I mean cauliflower. I mean, colorful, flavorful, vegetable filled orzo. Uh, so yeah, so if you want to make this vegetarian, just leave out the, um, or vegan. Yeah, you can just leave out the, leave out the fish. We're gonna use salmon. I'm gonna pan sear it with some, uh, some lemon pepper and some other flavors. And then we're gonna do a garlic, um, a garlic cream sauce to go on top of all that. And then we're gonna eat and it's gonna be yummy. So back here on the stove, I've got some water getting ready to boil. We're going to salt that water because we salt it like the sea. No matter what kind of pasta we're cooking, we're going to salt that water um, because that's where we're going to add the flavor to it, as much flavor as we can. Um, our veggies of the day, we are, um, we have some diced carrot. I've got some, you know, I always try to find a way to put mushroom in anything. So I've got some chopped mushrooms. I've got some frozen peas, about a half cup. I've got a half of a zucchini that I've diced. I've got a half an onion diced. Got some garlic. We're gonna use that lot. We're gonna use that at least twice in this recipe. So I've got lots of garlic. I've got a half a cup of broccoli florets. And I've got my chickpea rice. Um, you know, I could bring out the bag so you can see the chickpea rice, but see what it looks like in the in the bag. Um, but it's really good. Um, really flavorful. Our spices of the day, we're going to use lemon pepper. And this is a homemade lemon pepper. So I've got lemon pepper. I've got some thyme. I've got some ground ginger. I'm going to use some soy sauce. Paprika. Crushed pepper. And some salt and pepper. And this is just, um, I just mix some salt and pepper. I do a two to one ratio. Um, two teaspoons of salt to one teaspoon of pepper, mix it up. That way I already have it mixed up and I don't have to worry about it because sometimes I'm lazy in the kitchen. All right, so let me talk about the laziness. <laughs> you don't want to go through and chop up all these vegetables? Fine. Get you a bag of the green pea and I think it's green peas and corn already chopped up, frozen. Get you a bag of chopped broccoli, frozen. Um, you don't like mushrooms, leave them out. Um, there are onions that are already diced in the freezer section. You can get those. I mean, there are ways to cheat and do this um, so that you don't have to do a lot of cooking if you don't have a lot of time. This meal should only take you maybe 20 minutes after you have everything ready. Um, my, my vegetables are prepared. All we got to do is get the fish out of the, um, out of the uh, <laughs> cool box, <laughs> the refrigerator, and we're going to rinse it. Um, we're going to wash it off. We're going to pat it dry and then we're going to add our seasoning. We're going to put some olive oil in this pan and we're going to pan fry it. So you know what? Come on, let's cook. All right. So we have our fish. Got two fillets, just two of us. You want to make more for, uh, for, for your whole family. If you're a family of four, family of six, family of eight, double, triple, quadruple. Um, lost my train of thought. With seasoning. All right, so I've washed the fish, I've patted it dry. Now we're gonna add our seasoning. Um, let's say we're gonna start with some lemon pepper. Well, I can't get that in there, can I? All right, so we use the small one. I'll just double up. All right, so we're gonna do about one tablespoon of lemon pepper. I'm going to do one tablespoon at a time. I'm 
want to do a half teaspoon, excuse me, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Paprika. You can use sweet or the savory version of the paprika, which <laughs> paprika, whichever one you want. I'm gonna wait for this one on the. I'm gonna wait for the. Now the season's gonna be used twice. I'm gonna wait and put my red chili peppers in when I go to do the vegetables. Um, so I'm gonna do some salt and pepper mix. And remember, I live with the Mojada Mobetta, so I'm gonna put some of our seasoning spice on it because that's gonna add some a, a little heat to it. Mix, mix, mix. And there's your seasoning for both for both fillets. I am going to. I took my glove off after I washed my fish. Now I got to glove up one more time. I'm running out of gloves. We're running out of gloves. We're running out of gloves. Okay, so we want to sprinkle both sides. Pat it in. Think uh think dry rub. All right. So here's my disclaimer. If you don't like skin, no sweat. Take your skin off. I left my skin on. Um this time. But I have uh, one of my uh my sisters is has an aversion to skin. She doesn't like it. Texture. Nothing wrong with that. You know, we like what we like. All right, so I've got this seasoning all in and coated. All in and coated. We're going to switch back to the stove and we're going to pan fry it off. All right, we're at the stove. I've got my pan heating. It's a little, it's roaring hot at the moment. Got our, um, got our, our, our rice, chickpea rice in the, in the water. It's been boiling for about five minutes. I'm going to start skin side down. I'm using avocado oil. If you don't have any, you can use coconut. You can use olive. You can use regular. That's telling me that my rice is done. I, I will tell you that when you cook chickpea rice, it will foam. So don't panic if you get foam in your water. It's going to foam. That's just what it does. So I'm going to actually get my glove off. While that's cooking, I'm going to drain our, I'm gonna drain our chickpea, chickpea rice. Put it in a bowl and set it to the side. We're being cautious today because, you know, I burnt my hands several times, several times. And the steam has fogged up my glasses and I cannot see. Now, you can actually cook this according to the, the package directions, um, but if you like your rice, um, a little bit on the um, oop, still off. If you like your rice a little bit on the uh, firmer side, less time. You like it more mush, more time. Since we're going to cook this um, again in the um, when we go to put it into the. Can't talk today. Can't talk and walk at the same time, though, for some reason. Since we're going to put this in our vegetable, like an orzo, I'm going to go ahead and just drain it all off, and we're going to we're going to go with the the package instructions, which was five minutes. Okay. Ooh, we got some good color, so I'm going to turn it sideways because we want we want crispiness on all sides. Oh, this is going to be so good. 
All right, so you're just going to use two to three minutes on each side. And I promise you, we're going to have it at a temperature about 140-ish. Um, but I will tell you that sometimes you need, everybody doesn't like their salmon the same way. Um, I like mine. Um, I like mine done. Um, so I like a, a slight little bit of pink. Um, I don't. I don't need. Uh, I don't like it blush color. That's just me. But I know some who do, and they tell me that I'm wrong the way I like mine. But I tell them that no, I'm not. I like what I like, and that's what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish up here on the fish. And then we're going to, I'm going to set this to the side. And then we're going to go in on our vegetable oils. Our all right. We are finishing up on the salmon. We've got it crispy on all sides. So we're going to check our temp. Yep. We are over our temp. We're going to pull it out. Let it rest, reduce our heat. Going down to about medium high. All right, so in the same pan, we're going to put some, uh, a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna use our same oil. Now I'm using a scan pan, so that's why the oil that I had put in here for the uh, for the fish is not all cooked out. See how wonderful that is. We're going to start out with our, um, you know, some days I, I'm, I outsmart myself. Anyway, we're going to start out with our onion. We're going to saute our onion. And we're going for soft, not brown. So you're going to sort of like caramelize it. So you've got our, our diced onion there. I'm going to let it go for about, for, about, for about a minute or two. Remember, we're going for soft, not brown. I'm going to add in some garlic, two cloves. I like garlic. It's good for you. I'm gonna let that get fragrant. Add a carrot. I'm gonna jump ahead and gonna add go ahead and add my mushrooms. And if you look, that flavor has been absorbed. All that all that oil has been absorbed. We might have to add a little bit more. I'm trying to avoid that if I can. But if I can't, I'll add it. It's all good. Let's talk about our seasoning. I said I was putting soy sauce in here, didn't I? And red chili flakes. And we have our we have our same seasoning that we have for our fish. y'all. Sous chef's in the building. Woohoo! Sous chef. Yeah. He smelled the food and he was just ready to go. You ask, why was I looking in the oven? Because I've got some garlic roasting. And that's that's probably what he smells more of any more than anything, is that roasted garlic. I'm going to add um, when I add the broccoli, I'm gonna add some of the soy sauce. Now the reason why this is salt to taste is because I've got that soy sauce going in. Carrots going to give you sweetness. Mushrooms are going to give you a, a meaty flavor. 
onions, garlic, we know those are aromatics. They hit, they hit uh, some of the spots on our tongue. Umami. Umami. Um, remember that if you do not like the peas, feel free to leave them out. Um, I try to get vegetables in sous chef as, as many ways as I can. We're going to cook the, um, the florets. These are raw, by the way. Um, just until uh, soft. You want a little bite to them. So in, in, in Italian terms, that's going to be al dente, which means to the tooth, which means you're, gonna have, you, you're not going to be crunching on it. So it's not going to be raw, but it's not going to be mush either. We don't do mush. Let's see. We're gonna add our bro we're gonna add our, our broccoli. Might have to I'm gonna have to add some liquid. Peas and zucchini are last. And everybody keeps jumping out the pool. We don't know why. Let's add a little liquid to that. What is our liquid flavor of the day? Let's do, we have fish. Let's do white wine. A quarter cup. Any kind of white wine you have. You don't have white wine, you want to, you got stock, use, use stock. You don't have stock, use water. Remember that a recipe is just a guideline. Nothing set in stone. So we're going to let this go for about five minutes so that the, uh, the broccoli gets a little tender. We're going to add our zucchini and our peas. And then we're and our and our uh, bands of rice, and then we're ready to eat, y'all. I'll see you back in a little bit. All righty, all righty, all righty. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So we got this going. We're gonna add in our peas. Now those are frozen. They take a minute. I mean, because you know you don't want mushy peas. And our zucchini. Um, I added in the, um, right before I hit the record button, I added in some of the, I should use the bigger pan, but it's all good. I added in a um, tablespoon of soy sauce. Yeah, bigger pan. We in it now. And this is how you know we're, we're really cooking here because um, I could always edit that out, but I ain't gonna. Nope. We got our fish looking, looking nice and scrumptious. Scrumptious. Scrumdiliumptious. I like seasoning. We're gonna add some more seasoning. Could add some Obey. You can always change up the flavors. Add some Obey to your fish. See that wonderful color? All those vegetables giving you nutrients. Let's do just a little bit more. Next time I come back, we're going to add in our um, bands of rice, and then we're going to plate. Right on. Add in our bands of rice. Seriously, what is that noise we hear behind you? Clunk. Me throwing stuff in the sink to wash when we're done. All right, now you could do this several ways. If you didn't want to add your bands of rice in now, then you could have waited and plated it up. 
while this will shock a lot of my family, I, I, I've become an all-in girl. And why that's a shock to my family is because as a child, all the way up until, oh my God. Last week. Shush it. Shush it, you. Maybe, maybe five years ago. Maybe culinary school. Shush it. My food couldn't touch. I didn't like my food touching. There you are. There you are. Let's plate. I can't believe y'all almost let me forget the garlic cream sauce. <laughs> how you gonna do that? How, we, how, how, how you gonna do that to me? How you gonna do that to me? All right. So I've got four ounces of cream cheese, tablespoon of butter. And this is a half a cup of uh, cream. We're going to melt it, mix it. Over medium heat, I'm gonna add some garlic to it. Now, if you're a smart person, you use a saucepan. Excuse me. Yeah, use a saucepan. If you're Caritha, you, you use your saute pan. All right, we're going to let that heat up just a little bit more because it's still a little cold. Got to heat on by medium. Won't take that long. Sauce won't take that long either. I'm going to use a mixture of some, I'm going to use some white pepper and some garlic. Garlic. And I'm going to use our seasoning spice because we're going to have this season all the way through. Might as well use it. What did I say? I said white pepper. pepper. White pepper, pepper. And some garlic. And some garlic. Garlic. Now we're waiting on Caritha to not make a mess and then she'll be able to do this. Hmm. Yeah. Said what I said. Said what I said. We've got a lot of things going on here at the sea spot. Some groovy stuff happening. For those of y'all who like different foods and all that kind of good stuff. Got a large variety. We revamped the we revamped the website, um, change providers and all that kind of good stuff to make it easier on Chef C. I'm working on linking all the recipes so that there'll be a link in our, in the, oh, I'm just making a pure mess. It's all good. I'll clean it. My house. Um, to where you have a, a link. If you go to the website and click on the picture, it'll bring you to the video if we've, if we've made a video of it. If you, uh, and the, and vice versa, it'll also link you from the um, YouTube site to the website. Cross referencing, y'all. Yeah, y'all. All right. So we've got this cream sauce going right. Let's add some, let's add some white pepper. I'm gonna do about a half a teaspoon. Got a good burl going, good burl. Any of y'all make Alfredo sauce at home? It's a cheap way to do it. Gonna add our other seasoning to it. Go ahead and add our garlic. See how thick that gets? Now, you can opt and add some lemon juice. Uh, I'm gonna taste the flavor and then we're gonna see what I want. I might want, I want, I might want to opt and add that, uh, add some more of that white wine. Your opt is your opt. Embrace your opt. 
O O O. I am gonna add the white wine. O O O. Can I just tell you that I love me some me. Two tablespoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it was. Two tablespoons. Clunk. That was my tasting spoon. For me to go get another one. And the reason why I do that is because I never know who's going to drop by the C spot. So you don't lap in it. Not lapping in food here. That's just nasty. Oh, that's thick and creamy. Mm. What I need. What I need. This is where you become the chef of your own kitchen. Son, I'm just saying, I love me some me. Sous chef wouldn't let me do the drum roll, so. <laughs> Ta-da. All right, so you have your, you have your, uh... <laughs> I crack my own stuff up sometimes, I swear. Um, so you've got your banza rice uh, done like a, um, uh, an orzo with the vegetables in it. Got your pan seared salmon, your seasonings on it, and you got your garlic cream sauce. You don't want to do the garlic cream sauce, leave it off. You don't have to have it. I just think every meal needs a sauce sometimes. Yeah. yeah, sometimes. Sauce. Even if it's just au jus. The sauce. All right, so quick, easy, healthy meal. Um, this is probably, this plate right here for sleevers will probably feed two. Um, yeah. We got two servings plus two leftover servings. So we've got lunch for tomorrow. So I thank you all for coming to cook with me today. It's been my pleasure to bring you a, a very different, interesting, flavorful, nutritious meal that you'll enjoy. Oh my God, he says scrumptious. Um, that you'll enjoy. That's also quick and easy. A very local ingredients. You can get these ingredients anywhere. Remember, I gave you in the beginning how, how to cheat and use the frozen, uh, your frozen vegetables. Use your freezer. Use your groceries freezer. I mean, you know, if you don't, I, I prefer fresh if I can get it. But if I can't get it, I'm going freezer. It's all good. Um, contact me at the C-Spot Food, T-H-E-C-S-P-O-T-F-O-O-D dot com. Or you can email me at, C at the C-Spot Food at gmail.com, T-H-E-C-S-P-O-T-F-O-O-D at gmail.com. It's always a joy and pleasure to cook with you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And in all you do, in all your eating, in all your life, enjoy the journey. We'll see you later.